my name is Stephen Crane, uh, and this is my office map. So, let's get right into this. Uh, for this map, I've got three matinees. Uh, they're all relatively doors, uh, a little bit different uh, opening mechanisms to them. Uh, this first one's just a trigger box sensor, so it's uh, effectively just a motion sensor. Uh, where you get within a certain range of it, it opens the door. Um, the security door you must access through the security desk to unlock and open, and then the office room door you need to actually go through and do a puzzle uh, uh, mini game to pretty much unlock uh, and get in there. Uh, with the front desk, I also used uh, a little bit different uh, logic than normal, instead of just using branches, I used a gate to unlock the computer system. So the computer system itself is actually locked, so none of the functionality with it works until you unlock it. Um, and once you do unlock it, you can do one of two things. You can uh, use a flip-flop to lock and unlock the security room door, and then you can also use a flip-flop to brighten and dim the office lights in here. Um, so when I go through the playthrough, I'll kind of point that out and whatnot. Uh, further, uh, in the security office room here, um, I've got all of these monitors as well as the security desk out here and all of the computers in here tied to various cameras throughout the building. Um, the central room has every single one of the cameras pulled up on both big screens and then kind of the main focal ones on some of the smaller computer monitors. Uh, in here we've got the uh, trigger box which allows you to take control of a pawn character. Um, by doing this uh, you actually are jumped over here where the pawn character is and you have to find your way kind of through this storage room maze, um, where you've kind of got to get through, jump up on some crates, get back here. Uh, when you get to this computer, this computer is what unlocks the office room door. Um, what you have to do is you have to hold a key down, and it does an unlocking sequence um, from 0 to 100%. Once it reaches 100%, it unlocks the door, and then you can use the key to go back to the default position over here and then you can enter the room from that point. Um, so for this I use like the timeline sequencing um, to uh, for that kind of unlock portion of it. So let's uh, jump right in here and I will show you the functionality of it. So as you can see, you get within range, doors open from matinee, so then with this gate, so if I press E, can't unlock the computer or security office room door. If I press R, I can't brighten or dim any of excuse me, any of the uh, lights in the office room just yet. So what I have to do is U is unlock, um, and then you have to press enter for it to pass. L is lock press enter for it to lock, and then uh, space is toggle, you press enter and it sends a message through. So now that it's unlocked, I'm going to press E, oh, sorry, it's not unlocked, uh, ah, hold on, let me restart this. I didn't put um, visual indicators on it, so it's hard to tell if you don't keep track of it very well, and I was pressing a bunch of keys. Anyways, so toggle, enter, computer is now locked. The door is now unlocked. You can now go in here, go in here, press E to control the bot. Press the bot, you gotta get through the maze. Miss that jump. So I can just go back, 
but I want to make sure that I unlock the door. So I'm going to hold R. As you can see, it counts up. I stop. It resets itself, so you have to hold it for the entire duration. Um, once it's finished, office is unlocked. So press E, go back here. Then I can get in the office from here. As you can see, fairly large uh, sphere for, well, semi-large, relatively anyways, uh, sphere for the light source. Let's go back and change that. So, in this, oops, wrong one. There we go. Lights dimmed. Now they are relatively smaller. You can see it's not touching the lights picture anymore. So let's, let's change that back. And it's once again larger where it is now touching the light fixture. So that is pretty much my level. Um, the only other thing to really point out are these camera locations. I put little spheres uh, where the cameras would be. So it's kind of like security cameras. You can tell where they all are at. Um, and yeah, uh, just kind of made it so it would function much the same way of an office building with the exception of using a bot to uh, unlock the actual office room itself um, but kind of only had the uh, unreal default materials to work with so uh, this is what I ended up doing for it um, and I feel like it came together pretty well um, but yeah that's it thank you for watching